Prepositions on the move. Mastering direction-related phrases in English. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of English prepositions, specifically focusing on prepositions of direction, to, from, and towards. We'll cover their definitions, how to use them correctly, and provide examples to make it crystal clear. So, let's get started. Our first step is to understand what each preposition means in the context of direction. 2. This preposition is used to express motion in the direction of a particular location or person. From. This indicates the point of origin, where the motion started. Towards. This shows the direction in which something is moving. Remember, these prepositions often link verbs that express movement or action to other elements in the sentence, specifying the direction of that action. The preposition, to, is extremely versatile in the English language. When it comes to indicating direction, to, generally shows the destination of the action. Let's look at some examples. John went to the supermarket. Please send this package to my office. In these sentences, to, introduces the destination of the action. From, lets us show the starting point of an action. It gives context to the origin of movement. Here are a few examples. Maria is traveling from New York to London. The letter was sent from the head office. These examples show that, from, sets the starting point of an action, while, to, can follow up by providing the end point. Lastly, towards, indicates the direction in which something is moving. Unlike, to, it doesn't necessarily indicate a final destination but shows the direction. Here are some examples. The cat is running towards the mouse. He threw the ball towards me. In these sentences, towards, shows the direction of the action without specifically denoting a final destination. Mastering the prepositions of direction. To, from, and towards is an essential step in achieving fluent and clear English communication. These prepositions help to provide vital information about the movement and action in your sentences, making your communication more effective and precise. We hope this video has helped clarify their usage. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next video.